Welcome to your Tea Time Tip. I'm Terry Muscolsi, Director of Instruction for Brown Golf here in Bluffton, South Carolina. Today I'm going to be talking about a word, a term that gets in the way of your performance. And the term is called address the ball. That's right, set up to the ball, address the ball. It's a term that gets in the way of your performance. So we're going to head over to the practice tee and tell you why. So here we are at the practice tee at Crescent Point, and I'm going to explain to you why the term address the ball can get in the way of your performance. Now, you hear it all the time, you hear it on TV, you hear it by the announcers, you hear it by other instructors. I'm just going to give you an idea why that term, rather than say, set up to your target line, why the term address the ball can get in your way. So what I've done is I've, I've set two golf clubs down, one establishing my ball position in relationship to my front foot, the other establishing my target line. So when I set myself up, here's where we run into a situation, and I have a five wood in my hand, I have a six iron, a medium golf club, and I have a sand wedge, a short golf club. And here's what commonly happens. The longer golf club, the golfer tends to have the ball more towards the front of their stance. Now, when you set yourself up and you address the ball, the body puts itself into a position that is not in line with your target line. Your target line is here. Your body always has to be set up parallel to the target line. Now here's where it gets tricky. Then the golfer picks up a medium golf club and they're instructed to move the ball more towards the middle of the stance. So now once you've done that, your setup again has to change. The bottom of your swing has to change to accommodate the movement of the ball to the middle of your stance. Then we run into another situation. We take a short golf club and we set ourselves up and we're programmed to say, oh, you move the short golf club more towards the back of your stance. Now once you've done that, again, your setup has to change and your swing has to change to accommodate where you've positioned the ball. The ball position should be located always left of center. So wherever center is, the ball position must be located left of that. In my case, because I'm a right-hander. In a, in a left-hander's case, obviously the ball will be positioned right of center. So when we set ourselves up, the reason we have that ball position is to say as we move forward, the center of your body moves opposite where the ball is located. Here's where it becomes tricky. If I set up to the ball, the center of my body is no longer in relationship to the target line. I must have the center of the body perpendicular to the target line so that you can move this way and this way equally well. So if I lay this club down, here's the center of the body. Now if I take this golf club and I then angle it from the center of the body towards the ball, we begin to see how offline our swing is going to be. And you won't have a choice. As soon as you have set up to the ball, you now have dictated what path you are going to follow. So if you run into a situation where you hear the term come over the top, across my target line, you have just found it. Set up in relationship to your target line, set up to the center of your body and you will make a golf swing under the rain as good as it possibly can be. Talk to you next week and next week I'm going to give you another term that will help you play golf better.